Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. All right, they're asking for the queen. Before we get started, make sure you like this video, comment, share, and subscribe. And yes, let's get right into the biggest things first. I just want to touch on pads and tampons. Now, you can do either or. I like to use a tampon to use a smaller pad, this one. So I like to go in with my tampon and insert it. And I'm going to show you all how to insert a tampon like that. And it should look like this. Before you do anything, make sure your hands are thoroughly cleansed and washed, okay? Before you touch anything down there, anything like that. So once you take the tampon out of its little case thing, it's going like this. Now, if you are having trouble inserting it up in the hole, I highly suggest you using coconut oil. So with the coconut oil, I like to put coconut oil on the applicator. I already put some on here. So I like to put it on the applicator and get it, you know, nicely lubricated or whatnot. You can either dip it in there or you can put some on the tip of your fingers and kind of massage it on there. So now that you have the coconut oil on the applicator, what you want to do now is have it like this. And you could be sitting down on the toilet. I highly recommend sitting on the toilet. Or you could be like kneeling down, crouching down or whatnot. But you want to make sure that your muscles are relaxed. The first time I put a tampon in, I was not relaxed and I could feel it and it hurt badly. So I highly suggest that you relax your muscles. You don't, don't tense up just because something is going in. I know that's you know, hard to say, but try to relax your muscles so it's easier to apply or insert the tampon. So what you want to do is relax your muscles and pretend this is the hole right here. So this is the hole. You don't want to put it like this and then push it up. What you want to do is you want to take it and you want to go up and keep going up until this, this part right here, this part right here is out of the hole, like that, like that, okay? So you want to push it up pretty, pretty far, okay? So your, this, this, should be the only thing right here. This should be the only thing that's poking out. So once you have it like that, so once you have it like that, I'll just do it like this. Once you have it like that, what you want to do is you want to take it and you want to push this, push it up like that. And once you do that, the only thing that should be sticking out is the string. You should not, if this part is sticking out, you did it wrong. And that's totally fine if you did it wrong, but instead of yanking it out, because I'm telling you that it's going to hurt. So instead of you just yanking it out, what you want to do is, if you still can see this part, take your finger and push it up. So that way you cannot see it and all that's hanging out is the string, okay? Now, with a pad, I like to use a thin pad if I'm wearing a tampon and I'm going out and stuff like that. So what I would do is just get a regular thin pad, open it up, and this is how it should look. Now I get the pads with the wings, um, I highly recommend you getting the wings. I just feel like it's extra protection and extra coverage when I have the wings. So. Once you open it up, it should look like this. This part goes in the front, and this part right here goes in the back. So, you're gonna take it off. I'm gonna get you a pair of panties. And like I said, this part goes in the, this part goes in the front. So, you wanna take it like that. Put it on there, make sure it's sticky. And then you want to take this and stick it down in the back. So now your pad is stuck on there. Then you want to take off these winged, these little wing things right here. You want to take this little paper off. So now the wings are able to hook 
on the back of your panties. Like so. And there you have it. So, there is your padded panties. And, um, and that's what I like to use like when I'm going out and stuff like that. I like to put on a tampon and then put it on a thin pad. Now at nighttime, the pads that I like to use, I either do the two pad method or um, wear diapers. Yes, I said diapers. So, I just showed you how to put on a thin pad. It's the same thing with the longer pads and yes, these are winged. So the overnight pads is the same thing. The only difference is you have two wings now to um, place over your panties instead of just one. So this one goes a little bit higher on your panties and it hooks on the back. These kind of just sit right like where your buttocks is, if that makes sense. So I like to use two of these. So it's one in the front and one all the way in the back. So it looks kind of like a diaper. That makes sense. So after I have put those on, I like to then put a towel down on my bed just because I don't want any blood to get in my bed. I have a nice, big, beautiful bed. And I don't want any spills or anything like that to get in my bed. So I like to go in with two um, overnight pads, or I like to use these um, diapers. These are duck diapers. <laughs> These are adult diapers, so um, it says, or it doesn't say it, but this right here, I have an extra large kind, just um, to be comfortable when I, I'm on my period, I like to be comfortable. So, I got the extra large kind, and literally, it's like pennies. So, you just put both legs in, and it's a padding in itself, and I like to wear these at nighttime. Um, I really don't have a heavy foot like that, but then again, my period has, a, she has a mind of her own, so some days I might have a heavy flow, some days I might not have a flow at all, it's just, it just depends on what she wants to do, honestly. So, after the pads and stuff like that, and I put down a towel, um, I want to touch on how many times you should be changing your pads throughout the day. Now, on the box or the labels it says for the overnight maxi pads it says that you can um wear these for up to 10 hours for leakage protection so it says i can wear these for up to 10 hours i do not recommend wearing those for 10 hours i don't think anybody should be wearing pads for more than i would say like three to five hours three to five hours is a good time span to be wearing a pad or whatnot um obviously when you're asleep you're not really counting how many times or how long it's been since you put one in um and for me i can wear my pad throughout the whole night just because at nighttime i really do not bleed at all like that and every time i wake up or every time i go to the restroom whether or not i'm changing my pad or not or i just put one on i'm constantly using wipes to stay fresh now i have um, some Summer's Eve wipes, wipes but um, I also like to use just regular um, baby wipes. Um, these are the Huggies Pure and it's the 99% pure water, no perfume. I highly recommend just using baby wipes that have no scent to them. And if it is a scent, make sure it's like a fresh scent, like it's not like heavily like perfumed or scented with perfume or anything like that. Um, but I do wipe with tissue first and then cleanse the area um with my baby wipes now um i want to touch on how many times a day you should be um taking a shower for me personally i like to take a shower two to three times a day two to three times a day i feel like i am staying fresh throughout the whole day because you are bleeding and stuff like that and sometimes the blood can accumulate a smell so to stay fresh, um, I would recommend, highly recommend taking a shower two to three times a day. Now, I understand that people have jobs and people work and stuff like that. So you cannot take a shower um, that, that many times throughout the day. 
but I highly recommend um, if you cannot take a shower to use uh, baby to use baby wipes or to use the Summer's Eve wipes to stay fresh and keep yourself clean. I also want to touch on wearing loose fitting clothes when you're on your cycle. Um, I think you should be wearing looser panties, period. Like, I would try to avoid wearing tight clothing, period, whether you're on your period or you're not, just because it can just cause many problems down there when you're wearing tight clothing constantly. So I would highly recommend, first, you get some cotton panties. You can wear granny panties if you want to call them that, but honey, wearing loose fitting clothes and cotton underwear, you should be wearing, you should be wearing cotton underwear whether you're on your period or not. I'm not saying that you cannot ever wear lace panties, but I wouldn't wear them every day, all day, if that makes sense. So I would highly recommend like some sweatpants or some loose fitting shorts and some granny panties or some cotton underwear and I think that would tremendously help. I want to touch on what to use when I'm cramping and stuff like that. I use heating pads when I'm in my bed and stuff like that or if like I'm some, like out somewhere, I like to use either the acetaminophen that I get from the Dollar Tree. And yes, girl, Dollar Tree, those pills, they be, they be working. Or I like to use the Model Complete. Um, and these are the multi symptom relief of cramps, bloating, fatigue, headaches, and back aches. And I get this from my Walmart. And I like to use those as well, um, especially like for bloating and cramps and stuff like that. Like I said, cramps really be, you know, knocking me out. So I highly recommend those two products, not at the same time, of course, but you know, if you can't um, afford or you can't get to Mito, I would highly recommend going to your local Dollar Tree and just getting some acetaminophen pain reliefs. I tried using um, Advil or, not, you know, not Advil, Aleve. Um, I really don't like the leaf personally. I would use it if someone gave it to me, but I personally do not buy a leaf. Um, so I just use acetaminophen or my own pills. And that's gonna be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed my how to stay fresh on your period. And if you did, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And yeah, stay tuned for more videos, guys. Bye. All right, they asking for the queen. I'm a bad bitch, she's a savage.